In the pendulum experiment, I built a pendulum. I also mentioned that pendulums swing faster when they are shorter. But how does the weight on the end of a pendulum affect how fast it swings? Do you think a pendulum with a heavier weight will swing faster or slower? You can do this activity to find out. You'll need a pendulum, some different weights like small toys or batteries, and a piece of paper where you can take notes. If you did the pendulum surprise experiment, you'll already have a pendulum on hand. But if you need to build one, they're pretty easy to make. Just tie an object to one end of a string and a heavier object to the other end. First, play around with your pendulum and figure out how fast it swings. If you wanted, you could even use a stopwatch to get your really exact results. Then you can start experimenting. Tie different objects onto the ends of your pendulum, some heavier and some lighter. Then see if the speed of your pendulum changes. Make sure to write down your results. And when you're all done, look at your notes to see if you can find any patterns. So pause the video, start your experiments, and write down your notes. Then come back for more information. So you might have been surprised to find out that different weights don't really affect your pendulum. That's because pendulums depend on gravity. Gravity is what pulls your weight toward the ground, and it pulls everything down at the same rate. That means your pendulum doesn't swing any faster or slower no matter what you tied onto the end. This is also why an adult and a little kid can swing at the same speed on a swing set, even though one person is bigger and heavier. Gravity affects them the same way. 